Good morning, family. It's always a privilege to share with you uh, our devotionals. And as you know, we are in the second part or the last part of chapter three this week. And yesterday we spoke about the love that we needed to be rooted in love and filled with love. But then Paul takes it a step further. He says, I don't want you just to be filled with God's love. But then he prays, and I'm going to read it in the Amplified Bible in verse nine. He says that you may be filled up throughout your being to all the fullness of God. And then the Amplified Bible clarifies it. He says, so that you may have the richest experience of God's presence in your lives, completely filled and flooded with God himself. You see, Paul says it's not just enough for you and I to be filled with God's love. He says we need to be filled with God himself. Can you imagine what that must be like for us to be flooded and filled with God himself? This is not an old, uh, an old concept. Instead, uh, in fact, the Bible teaches we need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. You remember that? Filled with the Holy Spirit is not filled with something of God, just the power of God, but it's filled with God himself because the Holy Spirit is the third person in the Trinity. Being filled with the Holy Spirit is being filled with God himself. And so Paul is, Paul is praying here that, that, you would, that God would live within you. Isn't that also a familiar uh, uh, thought? We are temples of the Holy Spirit, temples of God's presence. And so Paul's prayer is that you and I, mere mortal beings, would be filled with God himself. God's power, God's love, God's wisdom, God's understanding, that, that we would be able to show people and let people experience through us who God is. This is exactly why Jesus came. Jesus came to reveal God, to show God to the people. That's why he was called Emmanuel. God with us because Jesus was God with us. But now you and I begin to follow Jesus along the same path. We also need to be so filled with God that we are, we show God to the people. We show God's love, God's power, um, God's wisdom, God's understanding. And because so many people think that God is so far away and they've never experienced God's love. They've never experienced God's goodness. And you and I, as believers, have the ability and the capability uh, to be flooded and filled with God himself. Let us pray and ask him. Father, we thank you so much that you came not just to save us, to redeem us, not just to give us authority, but also to fill us with yourself. That your presence would be in us. That we would be flooded with your presence so that everyone around us who have never experienced God's love, who have never experienced God's power, God's wisdom, might experience that through our lives. Thank you, Lord, that you have honored us and graced us with this immense privilege that as mere human beings, we can be filled with God himself. Thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you and have a wonderful day.